Hi, Samaria. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Very good. That's great. So how about how is your Thanksgiving? How is your Thanksgiving or how is your holidays? Okay, that's one. A bit for a moment. How is your Thanksgiving day? This one. Sorry about that. How about this? On our chat box. How about how is your Thanksgiving day? Good. Okay, that's great. So today is the continuation of our class, Rio. So are you ready to start? Yes. Yes. So let's share my screen now to you. Wait for a moment. Okay. Can you see your book now? Yes. Okay, so we will go to start with this one. And once again, this one is to reading leave 180 because you are already done with your previous book. So here is the unit two about a painful lesson. So first, let's try to talk about fable. What is fable? Did you read this? Can you read this one? A paper is a short tale used to teach a lesson or moral, often with animal characters that, that talk. Look at the book below uh, and check a paper. Yes, paper. Okay. Once again, fable is a short tale or story to teach a lesson or moral, but often with animals, characters that can talk. So as you can see here in this one, there are different books. Okay. So once again, fable are those story or tale that has an animal character. So which book are fables here? One, two, three, or four. Which books are fables? Again, fable is a tale or a short story that give that give us lesson or morale, and it is also has an animal character. Three, okay, three, very good. What else? What else? Okay, only three. So if you think so, okay. Because there is a crow and a fox. Okay, thank you. So now let's try to move on on this one. So here, as you can see, you will be having um, eight words. Okay, so what is the first word? Elderly. Yes, elderly. So elderly are those old people, like our grandparents, grandmother or grandfather. How about this one? Lazy. Lazy, very good. Lazy is someone that doesn't do anything. We have about this. Shame. Very good. So shame. So shame is like a painful feeling or distress about something. Like for example, um, I saw a kid 
that has a dirty clothes and she is shamed on it or she is having a faithful feeling about it because her clothes are dirty, something like that. And how about this one? Scold. Okay, very good. Scold is like, um, it is something, for example, your mom is angry and your mom scolded you. So it means that um, your mom it, your mom scolded you by having um, um a poor behavior, something like that. So how about the next one? Mean. mean or, um, those those people who are bad. How about this? Cross. Cross, very good. Like the cross on the road. Next word. Drone. Drone. Okay, and last one. Please. Please. So those are the words that you will be having. So do you have any more questions? No. No. So if you don't have any questions, let's try to have now this one. Okay, wait for a moment. Let me try to make it big. Okay, here. So let's try to have first the letter A. So in letter A, we need to choose the words from here. Okay, let's start with number one. Lazy. Okay, lazy. So this kid is lazy. How about two? Cold. It's cold. Very good. Three? Elderly. Oh, three? Uh, shame. Yeah, so this lady is shame because maybe she is fat or something. How about number four? Elderly. Yes, number four is elderly because as you can see, those people has white hair. All of them has white hair. And it is also indicated that or that they are old or something. Okay, you all get the correct answers. So let's start with letter B. Number one. I clean my room to drown my mother. Drown is like, um, for example, I am swimming and I drown into or under the sea. Drown is like um, um, a situation where you drown in the water. Please. Okay, so you clean your room to please your mother. Okay, very good. Number two. Oh, child and drown in forty of you inches of water. Very good. So a child can drown in the only few inches of water because especially if um they still a baby. Okay. They still a baby and it is definitely dangerous if they will go into play even in an inch of water because they still drown on those things or situations. How about number three? Don't be to your sister. Uh, don't mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. Mean to your sister, Jack, be nice to her. Okay, very good. So, how about the last one, number four? They, the boy is waiting to close the street. Okay, very good. So, how about you, Song Rio? Um, can you also cross the street on your own? Can you also cross the street on your own? Can you also okay, wait for a moment? Can you also cross the street on your own?
Can you cross the street alone? Okay, here. Wait for a moment. This one. Yes. Oh, wow. You're great. Now, do you have any more questions about this? No. No question? So let's try to move on now on story about a painful lesson. So let's start with this one. Can you read this? One day, a father and son were working to the market with their donkey. You a young man say, Fools, you have a donkey, but you aren't riding it. So the father put the boy on the donkey. He and he worked later an elderly man shot, shot, shouted. Shouted. Look at that lazy boy. He laid, let his father walk while he rides. The boy got off and le let his father ride. Okay, very good. So as you can see, there is a donkey and a boy and his father. So one day, the father and son are walking. Um, to the market with their donkey and someone saw them okay and a young man said fools you have a donkey but why aren't you riding it because a donkey is a kind of horse where you can ride on it that's why the father put the boy on the donkey and he walked so the boy is the one who are riding the donkey and the boy and the father is just walking Later on, there is an elderly, and he shouted, Look at the lazy boy. He lets his father walk while he rides. Because on the first one, the boy is the one who is riding the donkey. And after that, the elderly saw them and said that, Look at the lazy boy who let his father walk while he rides the donkey. That's why. The boy um, got off the donkey and let his father ride the donkey on this time. So do you have any questions about this? No. No. So let's try to have the next one here. Then a young girl cried out to the man. Shame on your, you. How could you make your little boy work? The man put his boy before him on the donkey. The father and son rode into a small town. Now an old man scolded. You are both too heavy for to a donkey. You, you're so mean. They got off the donkey and told about what to do. Then they carried a donkey on their shoulders while they were closing a bridge. The donkey moved and fell into the river. It drowned. The poor man said to his boy, Remember this place, everybody, and you will place nobody. Okay, very good. Thank you. So here, um, remember, the father is the one who are riding the donkey on this one. But the young girl cried out, shame on you. 
how could you make your little boy walk? That's why the boy and his father are the one who are riding on the donkey. But after that, the father and son rode into a small town and they saw a woman and they scolded the father and son or the woman scolded them. You are both heavy for the donkey. You're so mean. That's why we have this one or this picture because they don't know what to do. Everybody scolded them or shouted on them. That's why they carried the donkey like this. And when they are on the bridge, the donkey fell down into the river and drowned. Because maybe the donkey don't know how to swim. So, in the end of the story, the father said that, Remember this, please everybody and you will please nobody. So, do you have any more questions about this one? No. No question. So, if you don't have any questions, let's try to have now true or false. Okay, let's start with one. And nobody was riding the donkey. True. Okay, good job. Two. The fourth person to ride the donkey was the father. Pale? Pale? Okay, false. Very good. So, who are the first one who ride the donkey? Don. Okay, the son. Very good. Last one. In the end, the donkey died. Charles? True or false? Um, true? Yeah, it's true. Because the donkey drowned into the river. That's why the donkey died in the end of the story. Very good. Now, we will be having now the next one or the reading comprehension. Okay, so let's start with the first um sentence. The story teach, te teaches a lesson about um, um, trying to sweep set Deploy everybody. Yes, very good. We have book number two. An old man told the boy was lazy because he was riding the donkey while his father walked. Good. I can have book number three. A young girl was very ang uh, angry because the son, uh, the father and son, were riding the donkey. Are you sure with your answer? Um. Okay. The Okay, so the young lady or the young girl was angry because the father were riding the donkey alone. That's why after that, his father and his son are the one who are riding the donkey after that situation. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's have the last one. What can you infer from the story? Um, the man and his son had difficulty thinks, thinking for themselves. Okay, very good. Because they are having difficulty to think about the things that they need to do. Because they are always scolded by other people. 
okay, they always, or the people has always, or have comments about the things that they done with the donkey and with themselves. Very good. Now, let's have five and six. Okay, so five, five is this one. So where, where the man and his son taking the donkey? They were taking the donkey to the market. Okay, to the market or to the small market. Very good. We have about the second question. What did the man and his son do after they were scolded by a woman? They covered the on their car. Okay, what what did they carry? So lastly, they were scolded by a woman because they are so mean with the donkey because they are riding the donkey bow or they are both riding on the donkey. That's why in the end or after they scolded by a woman, what happened? Donkey. Okay, so they carried the donkey on there. Donkey. Yes. Where? What did they use to carry the donkey dunker? No, the donkey. What did they use to carry the donkey? They used a stick. And where did they put the stick? What is this? Mm. Shook, shook. This is my head. This is my arms. This is my. What is this? Um. Sh 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 um. Shoal. 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 Shoulder. Uh, yeah, it's a shoulder. Very good. Okay. Because as you can see here on the picture, the donkey is being carried by the father and son, and they put it on their shoulder. Any question? No. No. Let's have the next one here. So this one is the visual map, and we need to number the events in order from two to seven. So this one is all about the father and son were taking the donkey to the market. So number one is this. The father and son were criticized for not riding the donkey. So what do you think is number two? The son got on the donkey. Okay, that is number two. Next one. The son was criticized. Yeah, criticized. Criticized for letting his father walk. A woman called them for both riding the donkey. She thought oh, they... Oh, wait for a moment. What happened next? After the son was criticized for letting his father walk, what happened next? The father was, uh, they changed place. Okay, they changed place. Very good. Okay, next. The father was quite for writing his soon work. Okay, good. The both got on the donkey. Okay, last one. A woman called them for both riding the donkey, so they got up. Very good. So we are all done here. So do you have any more questions about it? No. 
Okay, so as you can see, they were being criticized. So do you know the word criticized? Do you know the word criticized? No. Okay, so criticized means that um, it is the indicate false or disapproving way. Because, okay, in other words, it is the disapproving ways by other. Because as you can see, they are criticized by not riding the donkey or some people disapprove to them because they are not riding the donkey. But after that, after um, satisfying the request of some people, they have been criticized also by riding the donkey, by walking alone, or by walking or letting your son alone. So they always please the people who surround them. So do you have any more questions about this? No. no. So let's have the last one here. So this one is the wrap up where we will going to use the information above to fill in the blanks. Can you have this one? Uh, Toro and Sloan were going to the market, small market. The market. Let's try to use market. They were purchased site by people on their way. A young man told they were stupid. Or not right the donkey. Right. Mm. On or right. Yes, riding. An old man told the father should ride donkey. A girl then told him a change by riding change father uh, 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 place okay change place with his son finally the father and son carried the Right. Okay, finally, the father and son carried donkey. the donkey. But it fell into a donkey. Where did the donkey fall? The river. Yes, it fell in the river. But they are crossing the Br br right bridge uh -uh. <laughs> okay and, and there is, there is a lesson you can play please everyone okay so this fable is also have a lesson. So the lesson after you read the story or the fable is that you can please anyone, okay? Because they are, after pleasing them or after doing the things that they want, they are always have to say something. So you can please everyone or everybody that surrounds you. So we are all in here. So before we end, so Rio, do you have any more questions? No. No. But before we end, can you please try to repeat this word? Can you read this one again? Bridge. 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 Okay. One more time. Bridge. I can have uh, this word. Bridge. Good job. So thank you for tonight and have a good night. And keep up the good work. Bye. Bye. Thank you.